supposed to be a very, very small, very thin camera that sort of has an analog feel because you take photos and there is no screen for you to check. It's just a peephole. So we have this. Okay, let's just go ahead and unscrew it. We follow the instructions. Oh, it's supposed to help tighten it. Okay, now let's look at the filter card set. Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and we have a very, very special package today. Now, um, I usually do unboxings of fountain pens and inks and ink samplings and all of that, but one of the things about me is that although I can fall deeply in love with one thing, which would be fountain pens, as you have seen in my first year of YouTube, I also have other passions and I love how these passions can sort of merge together so that it creates some sort of art, for me at least. And so this is me going back to one of my passions which is photography. So uh, I thought I'd go on a little bit of a project as we go on the trip and I want to sort of have the feel of um, you know the times when you took photos and it took forever for you to see how they looked? I wanted to have that feel. And so I went and I bought a paper shoot camera. Now what is a paper shoot camera? It's supposed to be a very, very small, very thin camera that sort of has an analog feel because you take photos and there is no screen for you to check. It's just a peephole. And then you get to see your pictures when you put your SD card into your computer. But the thing with this little project of mine, this little project that I want to embark on, is that I won't even look at what's on my SD card until the whole trip is done. And that's a little bit exciting for me because just like in the old times, you don't know. Did you get the shutter right? Did you get everything to work right? Did you get just black pictures, like just black negatives? I don't know what to call those, but yeah. So it's a little exciting and I want to take you on that journey with me. So here I am unboxing this very interesting paper camera from Paper Shoot Indonesia. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's so well packaged. Okay, let's unwrap this one. Okay, There's a lot of stuff on it. Ooh, okay, progress. <gasps> there we are. Okay, let's put these away. So, the thing with this camera is that it does have its own filters, so I got myself this filter. It's the Image Master Kit filter card set. Um, it's supposed to have some icy ch chill, yeah, icy chill, teal and orange. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it'll have some monochromatic, uh, monochrome elegance and classic film. So we'll open that in a bit. And then I got a cover because I get a little bit worried about lenses. And here we have the camera. It says paper shoot right there. And there's this embossed paper shoot there. There's this, ooh, create a camera, build and design your own digital camera. Interesting. Okay. Secret garden, that's the design I chose. 
Here it says paper shoot and it has a wooden box. So you slide it off. Ooh, this is like packaging winner. Okay, let's put this one aside, maybe here. It's so pretty. I know, I know, I know, I say that a lot, but so much of today's packaging is pretty. Ah. Nice, I'm just taking a moment to enjoy it. You lift it up. Ooh. And there is the camera. Okay, this is the cork board version. Secret Garden. Nice flowers. There's this little tab that you're supposed to peel off. And then you're supposed to, I think, unscrew this. Okay, let's have a look at this later. Let's just have a look at what's in the box. So in the box, you get this bit of like information package. Both sides are in Chinese, which I do not read. Okay, there's no English, but I suppose I'll figure it out. Okay, then it has this. This is a lens adapter ring. Huh, and it even has a hex key. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. This one has English though. I think, yeah, lens adapter ring. Hex key screws the adapter ring into the brass ring of the camera case with the hex ring oh here so you can screw it with that it's supposed to show you how oh it has a little hole okay let's quickly have a look what does that even mean so the camera itself has its own oh there is a hole see that hole right there yeah so the camera itself has a lens but you also have additional lenses that come with this package. Oh, this one tells you, oh, this is the English version, I suppose. You have your standard SD, you have your paper shoot function card, that's the one in this box. Just shows you where everything fits. And here you have, ooh, it's in English. So you have a camera case, check. Camera board, I suppose it's inside, we'll check together. User manual in Chinese. You have a camera strap. This is supposed to be like a paper camera strap. You have a USB charging and transfer cable, two brass screws and fasteners. You already have it there. Okay. Um, oh, spare plastic screws and fasteners, two effect lenses, and the lens adapter ring and the hex key. All right, let's have a look. So we have this, okay. Let's just go ahead and unscrew it so we can see. I wish this one had like some sort of a fastener thing because what if you have like extra long nails? That would be hard. Okay, but it works. Okay. Hmm. I have to remember this is the back. <laughs> Interesting experience because it's really like putting together your own camera okay let's put this away all right this would be the brass fasteners and there actually is the camera there you also have your sd card it's a micro sd with an adapter it's supposed to be 32 giga it is 32 giga and it should hold, according to the site, about 5,000 uh, photos. And you're supposed to put it in here. Okay. The camera itself feels interesting, almost flimsy, almost like I wonder if it can really, it's like waterproof and everything, but it's very interesting. So the case is actually interchangeable. You can get other cases and they have a lot of interesting designs. And this is how it looks. Everything's like exposed. This is a shutter button. Hi. I feel like I have to be super extra careful with it. I suppose this is where we put the filter, just like it said in the instructions. And this is where you put the batteries. It can only take 
um, AAA rechargeable lithium, I don't know what the ON is, batteries. Okay. All right, because I just want to make sure it's safe, let's just put it in. What else is in the box? I want to have a look so we know if everything is in. So camera case check, camera board check, user manual in Chinese check, camera strap. I think this is a camera strap because it's supposed to be like a paper strap and it is in paper. It looks like a strap. Okay, so that one is checked. USB charging cable check. Uh, what else? Two brass screws and fasteners check. Uh, two spare plastic. Oh, these. Ah, yes, they're here. Check. And two lenses. Okay, let's have a look. Which lens did we get? Because it's supposed to be like some random lens. So we have... I don't know. Does it say? Okay, maybe if we open this up. Actually, oh, well, no. It just says paper shoot. Oh, it's a wide angle lens. Perfect. I wanted a wide angle lens. Perfect for landscape. So good. And this one. Okay, let's put that in. This is a, a macro lens. Exactly the two that I wanted. So that worked out well. And then there's nothing else in this pretty box. There is some paper. And then there's nothing. Huh. I like the packaging a lot. Very cool. Okay, let's see how... I don't have the battery. I don't have the batteries yet. So that's not going to happen now. But let's just put it together. Because I want to see... Okay. I want to see how the lenses attach. That's very interesting for me. Okay. So this actually takes a bit of time. It's very thin. See how thin it is? Very, very thin. Okay, that one is in. And this one too. All right, looks good so far. Ah. Okay, okay, that looks okay. And then, sorry, went out of frame. So I'm trying to study it too. Okay, let's go and get this. And if we follow the instructions, we have the hex key. I didn't even know there was a name for this. And we have this. And it's actually still kind of sealed. I'm not going to remove that just yet. But I do want to see how this... Oh, because it's like inside. See? It's like inside the lens. You see that? Okay. So, you're supposed to put this here. I think. And if we follow the instructions, oh, it's supposed to help tighten it. Okay, so that means maybe you have to do the initial twists. Okay, it's a bit rough, the threads. I'm a little worried about it. Ah, there. You just have to like plop it just right. And then if you want to tighten it, you get your hex key. And basically, you just pull it a little to tighten it. Okay. Then you have your lens. Unscrew just so, and then screw it in. Nice. And it's supposed to give you, this one's a macro one. Okay, and the idea is for you not to see anything here, but to look through here and take your photo. And it's supposed to take a photo of whatever it is that you want to take a photo of. It has different settings, okay, that you can play with. And I don't know, I think this is when you need a flash or I don't know, actually. Maybe I need to study up on that. Okay, then if you want to remove it, 
just screw it off. This is like those camera lenses. I don't know if you guys um, had that when the camera, phone cameras were new and you had these like tiny uh, lenses like you could do put in addition to whatever it is, whatever camera you have. Okay, let's look okay, it's magnetic. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is the cover. I didn't quite know which one to get, but since this is like flowers, I thought a nice new flower would work. Okay, it does, but it's kind of like it slips. So maybe I need to remove this for it to work, which would sort of defeat the purpose. Okay. All right, Ooh, okay. Ah, yes. So that works quite well if there's no other lens attached to it. But if you have the other lens attachment on top, it's not gonna work as perfectly. Looks quite nice though. Okay, they also gave you, well, they'll also give you a case so you can slide it in. It doesn't get extra, like, scratched or anything. Huh, that was a nice little gift that came with it, so that's good. Now, let's look at the filter card set. Okay. Casing looks nice. It's like a tin case and okay oh it's a slide <laughs> almost ruined it okay let's open it up oh and here are more instructions how to use it okay so basically you need to take out the sim card insert the sim card socket on the back of the camera and wait for five seconds okay we saw that okay so it's gonna be here that one right there you see it? Yeah, it's a small one there. Okay, so here are the filter cards. Ah, and it tells you. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, let's have a look. What are in these cards? Nice tin case again. Packaging is like a winner. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it is. So I guess we just have to like remove it nicely. Oh, okay. So, okay. I already removed one. Oh my goodness. It's cut just right. It's a little scary. Okay. But even if you do remove it, it's like, you can clearly see what it is, but I didn't want to remove it just yet. Okay. There's classic film. There's monochrome elegance. Again, same style. There's teal and orange. Okay, and there is icy chill. Oops. Okay, drop everything. All right. And I guess you can keep these little SD cards somewhere safe. I wish there was like a little container for it, but they don't have it. So maybe you can just like put it in one of these plastics and keep it with you. Hmm. Or maybe put it here. Then it'll be moving around. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll just have to have a think about that. All right, so there we go. Very excited with this project. And I hope you come along with me for the ride. I'm just gonna take photos with this. And I do have, of course, my phone camera with me and one more camera actually that I want to use during this trip. Oh, so pretty. Okay, all right, oh. It says, oh, it's a 2.2 shutter. Oh, I mean, f-stop, not bad. Huh. Okay, well, thank you for unboxing this nice little um, companion with me. And I don't know, which one do you think we should try to use during the trip? Should we do like one every day? Huh, I'll put up like a little question box on my Instagram and have you guys sort of let me know what your suggestions are. Do we go for classic film all through, monochrome all through, teal and orange all through, icy chill all through, or should we do like one every day and just alternate in between? That would be interesting, I think. Okay, so this is Kai from 
Kikai Craft, thank you for joining me as I unbox something that's not a fountain pen, but definitely part of the journaling and the life experience that I think we should all have. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day or a restful evening. Bye everyone! Thank mm -hmm. you.